नमस्ते टू एवरीवन नमस्ते सरना दीदी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते तारा जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर शेयरिंग फॉर टुडे जी टुडे वी हैव शेयरिंग ऑफ निधि दीदी निधि दीदी नमस्ते जी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सभी को जर्नी Many volunteering role, uh, including the sharing of content and exploring the content and helping many of us to explore the content. So, with this brief, I may invite um, Nidhi Nidhi to uh, put her observation on the given points. Nidhi Nidhi, welcome. Hey, thank you so much, Bhaiya. Thank you for. Uh, helping me to set my date for today namaste all namaste sharmila didi my name is uh, nidhi chirag sachde i stay in dombivli maharashtra and i have worked as assistant professor for 7 8 years in a college at my hometown kopargaon later uh, when i went through the workshop i really wanted to understand the role of physical facility and what current program i have for it so i took some gap and then in one of the uhv workshops uh, yashwant bhaiya suggested that i can join the college and the purpose can be that i can uh, be in connect with the students and wherever possible i can share uhv proposals and um, i would like to uh, thank our college now shivaji rao zondroi college that they are giving me ample opportunities uh, for this process to continue and much freedom uh for me to carry on my uhv activities in my family i have my husband and my daughter staying now in between my mother in law brother in law sister in law and their daughter keeps visiting us uh, my father and brother also comes here many a times and uh, i when i was preparing for this sharing i could see that i always wanted to have a very big family and uh, as i came into uhv i got many many uh, sisters and brothers and uh, uh, that is very enriching experience for me uh, so with that now i will start with the exercise part uh with exercise 1 the first step i started with this exercise uh in uh, 21 and uh, there i was uh, like uh, i i just want to understand it that was the purpose but uh, most of the things i was not able to grasp uh, the way i was expecting it to happen with the first step of being aware i was very little aware of what is happening and it seemed very difficult for me uh, that it can happen but slowly and gradually as i went through a uh, few more sessions of the morning session i could uh, start locating the object of my uh, imagination and how it shifts very quickly from one to another uh then uh, i started paying attention to the thoughts then um 
I think from the last batch, uh, much attention has been drawn to the feelings part. And this time, when I went through the exercise, I could see that uh, it is uh, little uh, obvious for me to now see the feelings if I take the decision to. Earlier, um, when I started noticing the objects and the thoughts, I used to have very, um, uh, very strong reaction towards it that how come I am having such thoughts which are almost like uh, a criminal can have. Uh, and I used to get very disturbed with it. But uh, since last time and this time also, I could see uh, that it is now going towards no reaction mode. It comes, I see to it, and I want to let it go. It is not that it is always happening, but uh, the reactions which I used to have for uh, after seeing that I am not the right person, I am not the right human being, that have reduced to a greater extent. And that is very assuring for me. When I started observing the feelings part, uh, earlier it was uh, just uh, whether it is uh, naturally acceptable or not. And uh, But now I, I see that uh, I actually feel that comfort when I see the naturally acceptable feeling. I, I could see that shift within me happening, that uh, shift of opposition to relationship when it happens, that time I'm very comfortable with it. And when I have that feeling as we go for the step three, I can see that I become, I am in harmony with that feeling of, uh, which is in line with the natural acceptance. Um, even though I'm saying that I'm able to observe the feelings, many, many times it so happens that I continue with opposition, uh, but that duration has significantly reduced. Uh, till very last week, I remember um, that uh, that period was up to two, three hours also uh, that I carry on with the feeling of opposition I be unhappy with it and uh, and I want to come out of it but still I only take the decision that I want to carry. So uh, relating with the fourth step, I could see that uh, decision is taken by me that is uh, sure when I observe it. Uh, when, when I want to see that am I 100% responsible? So when I take effort of seeing it, that this is how it happened and I am responsible for my feeling, then I take the responsibility. But most of the time I have observed that I try to blame others for the feeling which I am having. Um, I, with one, two, three, four steps, I had some conclusions within me. And for that, I had this example. Uh, uh, one house help Didi comes to our place and she cleans the floor. Uh, two, three days back in the morning time, I was uh, in hurry and preparing for the college and uh, family routine. Uh, she uh, told me that you had given me 20 rupees yesterday. So I want to return it back. And very quickly I said, no, keep it. Uh, sometimes you should, um, it will be useful to you and you should always have some money with you. Uh, like that I told and I could observe within me that at that time I had feeling of relationship for her. But the very next moment I had this thought that uh, now I am giving it to her. Uh, now she may tell me that uh, she may ask for money next week or next month. And if I set this habit that I'm giving her money and she is not returning back, it is not right. 
and I was seeing that it is happening. And uh, uh, then she insisted that, no, no, uh, whenever I will want, I will take it back from you. You keep it. And I was uh, like, yes, this is what I want you to do. You are doing this right thing. This was happening in me. And then I took that money from her. And I kept on telling me that what I did was the right thing. Then uh, and um, I am able to recall that uh, I went for UHV2 workshop in Pune in January and uh, I was complaining Gopal Bhaiya that Bhaiya I am getting disturbed with my own feelings, my own sanskars and um, I don't find any way to go ahead. I think I am stuck here. And uh, he was uh, telling in the workshop also not particularly to me that uh, self has this potential that it can see to what is happening and the speed of uh, what is happening uh, what is happening in my thoughts and feelings that speed is one and greater than that is the speed of the pure observer I can see to it and I can observe it at a greater speed so that time I was able to see to it that as it was happening, I was able to just observe it. And I got very much assured that this is possible. This is doable task. And of course, with that uh, incident happening, I had many question marks within me about feeling of prosperity also. Uh, there is one child in our neighborhood uh, who is younger to Ridya, maybe around three and a half or four years. Uh, he comes to us many times. And if we are eating something, I would just tell him that, would you like to eat? This season when uh, we bought uh, mangoes for the first time, as Ridya is very fond of it, uh, on the very first day he came. So uh, we, my mother-in-law had told me that we have this tradition before starting any new fruit in the family. We should offer it to uh, the Brahmins or uh, the younger children like that. So I very comfortably uh, shared uh, it with him and offered it to uh, other two kids around and like that it went on. So that first transition was a transaction was very comfortable. Then uh, the next time and the next time he knows that we uh, have mangoes at our place and uh, Ridya has this habit that she will go out and will shout like I want to eat mango and he knows and he will come. So every time I was observing am I comfortable in sharing sometimes it so happens that only one is ripened. So am I comfortable in sharing that I keep observing and I have observed it many many times that uh, I have just told him uh, that uh, you got one uh, slice of it, now it is enough for you. Uh, now when I am able to recall, I had uh, so many question marks about this feeling of prosperity and I could see that uh, even though I think uh, many, many times this has been shared in the workshop, I have gone through it. But still, I need to work on it, this feeling part. And the same is true for all the other naturally acceptable feelings. That when I go through the proposal, it is very assuring for me to see that this feeling is uh, has to be there in me and I am very comfortable with it and I want to have it. But um, it keeps changing. I'm moving on to the step five. Um, now I'm able to see uh, every time I take this decision, uh, the basis of the decision is most of the times uh, the assumption part. Uh, I have got many, many assumptions related to anything. And I sometimes feel the bag is so heavy that I'm not able to carry it. Uh, but now... Um, uh, now, uh, when I uh, look at the journey from where I started, I think a uh, few grams of it uh, has reduced. Uh, and uh, 
now I see the possibility that uh, if it has happened for very few assumptions that uh, I am able to see that this assumption is there, then the shift is possible for all rest of the assumptions. Yeah. And uh, this discussion came in the step five that uh, we have this B1 and this possibility of having B1 block in it. And right now I'm uh, operating myself from B2 block. So now um, I could see that there is this need of me to uh, start uh, seriously working on uh, the B1 block activities because uh, I do try in a day many a times so that what is going on in me, which is not making me comfortable to shift to what is comfortable, uh, but that is not happening continuously and that is uh, troubling me. So I see that as one way if I can start working and keep working on it uh, so that the higher activities are uh, ensured within me, then this is this might be possible. But as discussed in one of the uh, morning sessions, I am able to recall, Bhaiya had mentioned that uh, maybe this is at the expectation level only, but uh, I see that the need is there. Um, uh, for this step five, I had one more example of assumption. Um, last to last week, um, last week only, uh, my mother-in-law uh, along with our niece had come here to stay for uh, some time, like 10 days. And uh, with her, my relationship has gradually uh, developed. And uh, when I went through UH3 proposals, I could see that uh, with the feeling of gratitude, if I start with her, uh, it becomes very comfortable to be around her. Uh, but I had this assumption in me that uh, if I have changed this much from where I was, like I never had reactions uh, upfront uh, for her, but uh, it used to reflect in the work, uh, what I am doing, or uh, it, it uh, when she's uh, there around me, it would get transferred to my husband or daughter. And I always had this thought that now, at least with this action, she should understand that what she did is not right. And the assumption which uh, right now I could see was that if I have changed this much, why can't she appreciate that uh, I am doing so much? I am going to college. I am taking care of the two kids. I am uh, involved in day-to-day -day routine activities. And in that week, Hindi workshop was also going on. And uh, I used to sleep very late, get up very uh, early in the morning and uh, some uh, urgent activities in college about NBA were also going on. So I was very occupied. This is what I thought. And I had this assumption, why can't she understand me? Uh, and my responses were uh, based on this assumption only. I uh, got very irritated this time after a long time it so happened that I got irritated uh, and uh, I was waiting when this uh, 10 days will get over. Um, but I was not comfortable in that time. And when I uh, started this, this morning exercise, this time specifically has helped me uh, with the daily assignment part. So uh, even if I'm in a hurry, when I'm going to college, the distance is very short. But if I open the mobile and if I just go through uh, what daily assignment has given, that used to be a, a, a very relaxing point for me that I can come out of this. And uh, moving towards step six, which feelings are naturally acceptable to me. So every time when I check, uh, uh, you know, I am able to see that this relationship uh, feeling, this um, harmony, this uh, feeling of coexistence is what is naturally acceptable to me. But I'm not able to ensure it every moment. So 
if I can uh, see it in step 6a that this is naturally acceptable, I will ensure it for that moment as we talk about it in the 7a step. So this time, uh, carefully, I was able to observe this relationship between A and B part of six and seven, A, A part of six and seven step. I tried to uh, explore within uh, to understand this relationship, harmony and coexistence. And for that, uh, one more assignment which was given was, uh, we can try to understand role of each unit around us. And, uh, one example which I could see was, uh, I just took an example of water for my observation and I could see that water has very important role and, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in that period when my mother-in-law had visited me and my father was also present in that time. So I was seeing that it was becoming difficult for me to manage uh, both the relationships. I always had this fear in me that it should not happen that because he is my father, I'm paying more attention to him. But for being a male, he may not tell me that uh, this is the thing which I need to eat or like that. So I have to be more attentive towards him as well as I have to see that that doesn't affect uh, my mother-in-law. So that um, part when I was trying to observe I was not able to understand harmony. and uh, But the moment I paid attention to this coexistence part, uh, I took many examples during that duration uh, for me to check about this coexistence part. And with water, it uh, helped me that uh, this has, the water has important role in my life. And... Uh, but at the same time, uh, this time... I could observe that when I am considering any unit's uh, presence, importance in me, I immediately shift to get worried about it. So it so happened that, uh, that in that per period only, we had uh, less supply of water in the building. And uh, we used to get it for a very less time. And we had uh, no storage mechanism except few... Uh, utensils. So I became very tensed with it. I always had this worry of how I am going to serve the people in my family with this much less water. And uh, with that, I think uh, I came to this conclusion that if I am not able to understand the underlying harmony in the nature, this coexistence, uh, then I will always be uh, worrying. Uh, so if I take, F, instead of taking effort for people to understand the importance of life and they should not waste it, that happened when uh, I read one, uh, um, uh, one uh, information uh, message from the society's group that they are going to celebrate Holi this time uh, with a water tanker and colors and... Uh, the decision was made in the same week when the water scarcity was very much prominent. And uh, I came into opposition with whole building. And uh, I declared it to many people that I'm not going to be part of this event because uh, I don't see it is very useful of what we are doing. And uh, I put status in my WhatsApp. Generally, I don't put, but I, that day I put. And the whole purpose was... So that I point out to people that see what you are doing is very wrong. And I remember on that day, we had a holiday from the college. I had other activities to do. Uh, and I was back up uh, for one session. So I went there and Ridya had holiday. So I am able to recall that most of my time, even though I had many tasks to do, uh, water was going to be released at some odd time because of this. So I had many household activities to be done, but my whole attention was to people because uh, outside of the window, I could see that they are playing and I was filled with opposition for two, three hours. And then I could see if I do not take effort right now uh, to understand 
understand this relationship, uh, harmony and coexistence. This is how I'm going to carry on. But I don't want to go ahead with it. So uh, this relationship between 6B and 7B, that uh, when I am able to explore about this in the context of whole nature and existence, I will be able to set my priority that I want to understand this harmony. Uh, that is how it went for me. Uh, I think um, the steps which I am clearly able to see is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Clearly able to see means I am able to work over it. But for six and seven, uh, especially B, B part, uh, I have to take more and more efforts that I'm able to see. Uh, moving to exercise two. Uh, when it comes to a proposal that uh, I am there and body is also there, um, in terms of its needs, activities and response, it is becoming possible to see when I when go through the content in weekly meeting, in the workshop, whenever I go through it for that particular time, I'm able to see to it. But uh, this time I could notice, uh, and last time also, this time it became very prominent for me to observe that even though I say that I am there, I very quickly shift to I as my face in the mirror. So the way I look, I shift to uh, there, that image when I refer to I. Uh, as I go towards uh, the next steps, this distinction becomes possible for me to that I am there and body is there and these two are distinct realities. But uh, many the times when I refer to I, uh, that image only is occupying within me. I have to take effort for that. Uh, the second step, uh, I transact information and uh, from time to time, this I could see for very few examples like um, you know, I am uh, taking this decision to eat. I am taking this decision to um, to drink water. So uh, whenever the sensation comes, I can read. Uh, but these sensations, I am not able to observe to a deeper level. Very surface level uh, sensations I am able to observe. Uh, with the third step, uh, who decides? So... As I shared this example, when to eat, walk, sleep, that is possible for me to see uh, when I'm aware that I am taking decision. Uh, and this time I could uh, take some time for observing this, that am I the seer, doer and observer? And uh, with examples given, I was uh, sure that yes, I am, I am that uh, person, I am that uh, reality who can, uh, see, do, and observe. Um, time to time, I was checking this, uh, not able to recall any example for now. But yes, uh, I tried uh, for this reflex action part. So uh, even if it is a moment where the uh, mosquito is there or uh, some immediate action is happening, I tried it for very few of it and I could succeed that if I decide that, then I can stop and change the way I will, uh, you know, act with the body. So uh, earlier I always felt that if it is, uh, you know, it is if it is coming to harm me, then of course I will take action in this way only. That I had assumed, but this time for very few uh, examples I could see it. The other thing which I tried this time was. Uh, I go to one, uh, one spiritual uh, gathering where uh, we call it Baithak. And uh, before UHV, I used to go there uh, and uh, I could find that uh, it is very comforting for me to go there and uh, listen to it. We, do not, we, we don't have to write or carry anything with us, not even mobile and anything. We just have to go and sit there. That's the requirement. So uh, it is for every Wednesday, 8 to 10.30. The timing is like that. 7.45 to 10.30. Uh, 
so uh, because i do not have anything to do and uh, i always uh, used to uh, complain about ridya that uh, she can't sit at one place this time i uh, when i observed it for myself i have observed that hundreds of times i have changed my position of sitting and once i had taken this decision that let me sit and uh, i am taking this decision that i will sit and not move from uh, my current position but uh, i had no watch to see but i think it was not more than 6 5 or 6 minutes beyond that i only forgot that i had taken this decision to sit in a place so now i think i will not blame her that she can't sit Uh, at a place and do one particular activity with focus earlier when i used to study write notes that my whole focus was on uh, preparing or writing uh, studying that time i used to sit this is what my assumption was but i did not ever observe uh, what smaller changes i am uh, bringing to my uh, sitting posture this time i could see it and uh, with four step uh, uh this uh, sensation part that i am not sensation um uh, or i am not into it uh this much is okay for me to observe but still i am not able to make this distinction that i am uh, different from the sensation and there is difference between self and body Mm, um as uh, we hear it that uh, we are carrying the sanskar uh, of assuming ourselves as bodies and so long so earlier uh, till the last uh, time i thought that um, this is not setting right how can i not see that self is different and body is different and i got worried and tensed about it but this time i have accepted that uh, it is okay at least i am on this path and i'll keep on doing it so this time i was not disturbed that i am not able to observe uh, but i think i have to uh, sincerely work for this particular step and especially for the whole exercise too i am seeing that uh, so much of my effort is required for this um now the uh, step which is very favorite to me uh this, that is this fifth step this step has helped me a lot uh i you i last time also i had prepared the list of sanskar this time also i have prepared it uh i will very quickly share some of them uh in continuation with what i did for the last time so this is prominent that i am body that sanskar is there but a uh, few more i could find out was i get cling to people and situations and try to seek happiness from it i carry on those relationships within me for a very long time and uh, even if they are not around me and i seek happiness from it uh, and then i keep on justifying myself also that you know because they are not there around me i am not well like that and it is for many relationships my mother father uh, my brother husband ridya if she is around i get uh i am like uh i just want to uh, be away from her for some time of the day but even if she is not around for some time when i am home i feel very uncomfortable with it and that i am carrying in me that i could notice uh i i could see that my competence in terms of worldly matter is very less i can't perceive situations or evaluate people well and because of that i take quick decisions which later i am not able to fulfill and then i have a uh, doubt about my own self i am occupied with self doubt and i could uh, trace it back like this about the competence part one more thing i have found out is i get lost in the task um, if it is particularly for a uh, intense task uh, then like reading writing preparing notes like that Uh, or listening to some sharing or uh, the morning uh, exercise part but then 
for me it becomes difficult to come out of it and uh, do the other tasks uh, so that is setting that restriction of me being multitasking yesterday uh, there was session in the english workshop about uh, nature and i started i tried that ridya would sleep but she did not so i said okay i told her see my workshop is there so you are supposed to carry on with your activities please don't disturb so she said okay and she sat around and when i started asking the questions what is naturally acceptable to you uh, a feeling of relationship towards nature to nurture it or to harm it then she started giving me answers also so i was like okay okay now she is there and suddenly after 5 10 minutes i don't know she started coming to me and asked many questions like should i eat mango should i go out should i do this so i got disturbed with it that i am into it and she is disturbing me so i couldn't handle that well that i could see um so this multitasking is my problem i could see that i have one more sanskar of postponing the things and i give my re uh, this reason to me that uh, you know because i don't have clarity hence i am postponing when i will get the clarity then i will implement the task very simple things are tasks are there filling marks somewhere for example then i will keep on asking me what is the purpose of marks uh, why are we just focusing on marks this is this will happen at the level of the thoughts and i will delay the activity and i'll keep on telling myself see i am working on myself no so i want to get the clarity about it all and then i will do the task and because of this i suffer a lot um ji this much i think the list is very long but uh, okay but this this step is very very helpful and this time also with the, all those steps details steps mentioned when i try to write it and uh, try to work on it it has become very helpful for me and this time uh, i could see for step 6a and 6b that i react if the sanskar is based on assumption and i respond when the sanskar is based on understanding so this i could see uh, in many examples and uh, uh, first step 7 um uh, very many proposals came that uh, i am there body is also there and uh, this uh, by being in submergence with the uh, uh, space this uh, is there i am there because of this not because but being in uh, submergence with it so uh, proposals i could hear i tried to uh, uh, read it again and again and i tried that i should uh, start working on it but somehow it is not um uh, setting in me properly uh but yes this time i felt to a very uh, smaller extent that this need is there that i should work on um understanding this coexistence and space i till now i always related it with uh, god and uh, that was very comforting for me and uh, but i think there is so much more to it which i am not able to see and hence uh, the fluctuations are happening in me uh this is about exercise uh now if i go for uh the uh, this um, whether um this happen is in my, my innate nature part uh, then um in the form of proposal it is there in front of me but uh, still i am very much dependent on the outside part and uh, this particularly this time i could see when i tried to sit and resolve the conflicts which are there within me just by observing it at when i took the separate time for it i took the decision i sat and within a minute or two i started playing some video on mobile i started hearing uh some interviews started listening to songs uh, also have seen reels uh because i was so uh not ready to face what is going on in me so this time i could see those times i depended on food i depended on uh people's appreciating me 
and this time i also could recognize that uh, this sanskar is very very dominant in me that i am special so on one side i am saying i am special and on the other side i have so many doubts about myself so this contradiction i could observe very clearly this time and uh, i have to work for this happiness is the innate nature part and the program which i can do for it is uh, in between i remember i had thought that uh, now these proposals are not helping me anymore i can't come out of the contradictions because there are so many so i had started uh, taking less part in the volunteering activities and i had become numb uh, but after subsequent talks with uh, umesh sir pooja didi ila didi i could come back and uh, uh, uh the duration of time which i want to uh, assign for this activity is all the time wherever possible volunteering and uh, this time i also could see that uh, sometimes i just justified myself that i don't have time so i will not do this particular volunteering activity and i saw then later that i wasted that time so uh this time i have decided that uh looking at the limits of the body of course looking at the uh, family course which i have to do but the remaining time uh, and remaining time means time with proper planning whatever i will get i will try to uh, utilize it well for the uh, volunteering activities and uh, uh, i could recognize my skill of um, saying um, means conveying things in the workshop uh, because i came into uhv earlier i always had doubt about myself of what can i do but this skill uh, is there uh, now i can see that this skill of uh, speaking talking i can utilize for my own exploration so whenever i share the content in online and offline workshops i am the most benefited person out of it so uh, i want to carry on with these activities uh, for many other volunteering activities i have to develop my skill set i am very slow with it but uh, i want to do it that i am able to see and that is my commitment i uh, want to thank sharmila didi kumar bhaiya ganesh sir uh, just sharing this last point i um, carried on uh, for my mother's absence for a very very long time and uh, as i met uh, ganesh sir and sharmila didi and kumar bhaiya umesh sir for many many times i could see uh, that part is settling because i wanted that feeling from her and uh, these are the people from whom i am getting that same vibe like uh, that pure part so i am very thankful to them and i am thankful to whole team of uhv all the these and bhaiyas they have helped me tremendously i can't uh, imagine my life without uh, these people around me and uh, i sometimes become very nervous thinking about what if these people are not around me uh, but then i come back to it that uh, to, with this and next and next lifetimes uh, we will be around each other so thank you to whole team and uh, thank you to this existence thank you so much thank you so much uh, nidhi for this collaborative you know, very connecting so many example fine you know, saving which is you know definitely useful for many of us and i think each and everybody might have connected some point in their life <clears throat> so thank you so much for the team of sharing so now i'm requesting nidhi to put a comment on the session please nidhi जी नमस्ते निधि जी जी नमस्ते दीदी नमस्ते सो लेट मी फर्स्ट ऑफ से दैट एवरी टाइम यू शेयर आई आई एम इम्प्रेस्ड बाय द ऑनेस्टी एंड द सिंसियरिटी विद विच यू पुट फॉरवर्ड योर एक्सप्लोरेशन हाउ यू आर एबल टू फाइनली सी वेर ऑल you are having issues where all you have um doubts 
you started with uh, you know um, sharing how you have progressed with feeling comfortable within you mentioned how in the beginning that was more of information how when you have some feeling that is naturally acceptable but later as it progressed to the self exploration you were able to feel that comfort within in fact this is something very significant and i think for those of us who may not be able to you know appreciate that the point of the feeling is that you feel it we call it feeling because you feel it so certainly you know like many of us have put forward in our sharings when we talk about you know the steps of the exercise very often the first thing we may notice is whether i am comfortable within or i am uncomfortable within but that shift happens when i can consciously make the discomfort into comfort meaning i when i consciously shift that feeling to one that is naturally acceptable and i am able to appreciate the comfort within i am able to feel the comfort within then that becomes motivation for wanting to be in that state more and more if possible every moment so i think that you brought out very nicely and also how your feeling of opposition when you have the duration has become you know much reduced and how in the beginning you would uh, see things happening uh, you know um, you would uh, have the opposition while it was happening and only notice later so now you are able to notice one thing that you mentioned that you continue sometimes with the feeling of opposition even though you can see that it is leading to some discomfort so you ask yourself why that is happening this will help you identify more of you know the sanskars behind that and also try to focus on referring to your natural acceptance at that at very moment when you feel that discomfort while things are happening so at that very moment if you you know consciously refer to the natural acceptance it will help you to come out of it earlier and earlier that was one thing i was thinking um you also mentioned about self doubt and about um feeling that things have stagnated you're not moving forward so i think i just want to uh, uh, sort of you know focus on this point that see observing is not a problem at all in fact when we are observing really observing what is happening in our thoughts in our feelings you will notice that you are not disturbed there is no reaction if there is a reaction that means at that moment i have slipped from the observation point of pure observer and i have fallen back into the thoughts the feelings and i am flowing with them so i think the important thing to see here is that many a times this reaction happens when we have assumed something about ourselves or we have some opinion about ourselves our personality our thoughts you know and when our living is not in line with that we feel disturbed like i may assume that i am a good person that i am um you know that i am a special person or i am a good person but then when 
in my living, I find that I am not so, I get disturbed. So I think the important thing to see is, even when we observe something that is missing, something that is not actually how I want it to be, try to have acceptance for it. So when we try to have that assumption about ourselves that we are perfect or we try to be perfect, there comes an issue because now we have no acceptance for any kind of movement from there. We don't give any room for ourselves. We want to be only there. So certainly we can make effort for that, but without that guilt, without that confusion, without that self-doubt, just try to see, accept whatever is there and then refer to the natural acceptance. This is something I just wanted to mention for everybody because I think this happens a lot and then we beat ourselves up about it, feel bad about it. So even when we say, I have to ensure right understanding. Now that is a future moment. Later. So it is like we are looking into that it will happen eventually. But I would like everybody to look at this moment right now. What is, what is it? So if I am reacting here, if I am, you know, in discomfort now, I have created unhappiness for myself. At this moment, can I refer to my natural acceptance? And can I see what kind of feeling I want to have? What I really want to be? And then when I do that, I can see that, you know, I can be happy this very moment. And then move from there. This was one thing that I wanted to say. And I also wanted to mention, um, Nidhiji, you're, you're uh, contributing your participation participating with a lot of honesty and sincerity and your participation is very, very valuable. I have heard your um, you know, sharing of the values and I think you do a great job of it. So I just wanted to say you have a very uh, you know, conducive environment, you have a supportive family and uh, so look at all the positives and look at how far you have progressed. Uh, all the very best to you for your future uh, journey also. All the best. Thank you so much, Didi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sagna Thank you so much, Nidhi, for putting the sharing.